Okami Girl here and today I'm going to be bringing you a review and opening of some of the brand new My Little Pony Pony Life Potion Mystery Blind Bags. I found these blind bags, bottles, whatever the kids want to call them these days, at Target for $2.99 each and I have four of them to open up for you guys. Yes, only four. If you are a longtime fan of my channel, you will know that normally I go all out and buy a full case of any blind bag anything pony related. Well, there are several reasons why I'm not doing that anymore, but specifically for this line, I'm not very impressed with it, for reasons we'll get to in a bit. Full disclosure, I kind of already know what characters I am getting in these blind bottles, and that is because there is a code on the back of each of them so you can know what characters you will be getting. And for this reason, I went ahead and looked up the list online. If you want the list for yourself, it'll be in the description below. So. I know I will be getting the ones I want. And trust me, you're definitely going to want to do this. Anyways, before we dive into the opening, let's go ahead and just take a look at the package first. So here is what one of the blind bag potion bottles looks like. As you can see, it has a very rainbowed packaging. You have this rainbow in the background and the new rainbow My Little Pony logo, which I just love so much, and a whole bunch of unicorn horns. And trust me, that's there for a reason, and we'll get to that in a second. Each one of these little potion bottles contain one surprise each. And on the back of the packaging, you can see kind of a couple of the ones you could possibly get. You have some ponies, but you also have some of the pets like Opal and Tank and Winona. You have Cha-Cha from G1, that's pretty cool. But you may notice that they all have unicorn horns for some reason, and I think that's the whole gimmick. The potion made them all have unicorn horns. Oh boy, okay, that's fine, whatever. We're not gonna waste any more time with that. Let's go ahead and open these up. Now wait, we can't just open these on the set though, no, because this is the new Pony Life line and everything has to have a gimmick because that's what Hasbro's all about right now, the gimmicks. You have to compete with LOL Surprise. So what does that mean in terms of these bottles? I need water because the water is supposed to dissolve this little plastic bag in here so you can reveal the character which means we need a sink. So we're gonna head over to my sink in the bathroom and open these up there. All right guys, so here we are in my bathroom and here are the potion bottles. I went ahead and unwrapped the other three, but I thought I'd unwrap this one on camera. So you can see inside here, there is a checklist of all the ones you can get. We have Cha-Cha, Amethyst, I think that's Amethyst Star, uh, and a bunch of these pets, a random alicorn, Potion Nova, Rarity, and Lyra. Why there's a hippo there, I have no idea. So those are the 12 you can collect already off the bat for a My Little Pony blind bag. Not even half of them are ponies. Yes, Cha-Cha is really cute, but Cha-Cha is not a pony. So that's already strike one for this new pony lifeline. On the other side, there is the instructions. You're supposed to fill this up with water, Close the lid, shake it up, and reveal the character. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we're gonna fill this up with water. Okay, I probably overfilled it, but that's okay. We're gonna close this tight and shake it around. Uh, water's totally leaking out, so you have gotta definitely do this over a sink. And look, you can see like soap and uh, some paper that disintegrated. That's cool, right? Okay, let's go ahead and open it up. And let's fish our pony out. It looks like we got the random alicorn. Okay, I'm not entirely sure what to do with all this blue stuff, but we're just gonna set this thing off to the side and open up the next one, I guess. So here's the next one. All right, we're gonna try to put a little less water this time. Close it up. So it is fully tight, okay? I'm not, I'm not, you know, not closing it up all the way. This is fully closed. And water is still leaking out some, or completely. Maybe I'm shaking it too hard, I don't know. Then what's the point of this gimmick? So, I mean, that's pretty cool looking, the way the potion is, you know, with the bubbles and stuff. I have to give them credit for that, that's pretty awesome. And open this one up, and who do we have inside? We have Potion Nova! And we'll take a closer look at all these back at the set, but I just wanted to unbox it the gimmicky way. So that's Potion Nova right there. And I'm gonna pour all this out. Let's just hope that this is safe for the environment. Not like Hasbro would care. Next one. I just realized this one already has a crack in it. So, you know, that's great. 
That's gonna totally defeat the whole purpose of this gimmick. Well, I guess it'll be perfect time to show that it really doesn't matter because you could totally see the character through this little dissolvable bag, so this whole gimmick is completely pointless. But we're gonna do it anyways. Fasten up, let water go everywhere because it's already cracked. Yeah, look, all the water just came out. The bag can't even fully disintegrate because, ew, it feels so weird too, because the bottle is open. Anyways, we have Amethyst Star. And here is the last one right here. Let's shake this one up. Let's see who's inside. All right, and it looks like we have Lyra Heartstrings all covered in bubbles but that's her right there so here is the aftermath of all this you get all this blue paper that didn't completely disintegrate you have these containers that some of them are cracked and they can't even hold water properly so i mean you can't tell the saltiness already it's definitely there so let's go ahead and head back to the set and we can take a closer look at them and delve in deeper into my thoughts on this new line okay so here are the potion ponies finally cleaned up Got rid of all that blue gunk off of them so we could take a closer look at them. First up here we have is little Lyra, who in my opinion is one of my favorite ones here. She is really adorable. And I honestly think the molded hair really makes the pony life style a lot more appealing. Definitely something to get used to. It's still not my favorite, but I think the molded hair makes them look a lot more adorable. Next up we have Amethyst Star who unfortunately has some serious uh, printing problems with her eyes. Like, look how bad that is. I don't know what happened there. I don't know why her unicorn horn's a different color. I feel like that's some sort of tie-in with the Pony Life show and the potion thing. I just wish they kept it her body color. That's just me. But she's not too bad looking. Next up, we have this random alicorn, which I think, again, ties in with the whole potion thing. She's really a pegasus, but the potion gave her a horn. Uh, just a lot of hijinks probably ensued, but here she is. And she also has some serious printing quality issues in her eyes and also just some paint issues in her tail. I really do like the little pose she's in, just kind of standing like that. I think that's really adorable. But again, the quality control here, I'm not too sure about. And again, not too sure about the whole different color horn thing either. Definitely not the worst one, but she's okay. And I saved my least favorite for last, and that is the brand new Potion Nova character. Looking face on, she absolutely looks the worst. I don't know why all of her releases she just looks absolutely derpy in. Like, look at that face. And of course mine has some serious printing quality with the eye there. Her eye is completely smudged. Uh, for some reason she has a longer unicorn horn with some uh, magic glitter on it. So, I don't know what's up with that. Her cutie mark is this little potion here. Uh, and her mane and tail kind of have this gradient thing going on. Mm, I'm not too sure. Again, not my favorite. Actually, like, totally my least favorite. She looks awful in my opinion. The other three are definitely a lot cuter. Now, one thing you may not have noticed is the size of these. Yes, they are small, and you're probably thinking, well, they're just blind bag size, right? But no, that is not correct, because here is our friendly gray Pegasus Derpy in a standard blind bag size. And as you can see, those new ones are definitely a lot tinier. Comparing just Derpy and Lyra for a second, you can immediately tell the size difference. Even with her giant ears, she comes nowhere close to the size of the normal Derpy blind bag. All of the features on the new one are just a lot smaller as well, which is the whole Pony Life design. However, in terms of what you're getting per dollar of plastic, you're definitely getting a lot less than what you used to get with this standard size blind bag. Out of curiosity, I actually happen to have a little Philly size blind bag, Scootaloo, and it's about the same size as that. And even then, Scootaloo just has a lot more to her in terms of body size. Her legs are a lot thicker and so is her head. Just in comparison to little Lyra here, you can definitely notice how tiny and skimpy these new ones are. So, my final thoughts on the new My Little Pony Pony Life Blind Bag Potion Bottle gimmick thing. Oh boy, it's honestly a no for me. These definitely are not worth the $3 price tag they are asking. The gimmick is dumb, it's messy. For years, or really only months, I classified the Cutie Mark Crew confetti as the worst Hasbro gimmick ever. And then these things came along. 
And it's even worse because it's weird feeling. It's, the texture is weird when it's wet. It gets everywhere. I'm hoping it's safe for the environment. I mean, I just put it down my sink. Oh, I just, I, no. It just gets everywhere. It was a lot harder to clean up in my sink than I thought it would. Ugh, just no. In terms of the characters, you're not even guaranteed a pony when you purchase one of these things, which is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Yes, the pets are cute. Yes, Cha-Cha is adorable and a great callback, but I mean, they're pony blind bags. Can you imagine how upset someone must be if they bought one of these thinking they were going to get a pony and then they just got an alligator with a little unicorn horn? And it's even smaller than the ponies. Can you imagine that? Three dollars? Like some kid saved up his or her allowance and that's what they got? Like, oh my gosh, I would be so mad. I mean, I willingly paid for these to review and I'm still kind of mad. I didn't realize how small they were. Yes, some of them are adorable. I think out of all of them, Lyra is definitely my favorite. She has the best in terms of the quality of her paint and the decals on her eyes. The other ones, I don't know what's up with them, but the quality control is all over the place, which is honestly a shame because I just gave a positive review of the brushables and how wonderful their quality was. So I don't know what the deal is with these. So unless they do some serious improvements, I have no intentions of buying any more of these potion blind bottles. But those are my thoughts. Why don't you let me know through Facebook or Instagram, what do you think of these potion bottles? And if you bought any of these yourself, which characters did you get? Let me know what you think of this new line. And out of all the characters I got in my video, which one was your favorite? Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos in the future.